And now, ladies and gentlemen, a few words of wisdom from Ted Pearson. Bye, Keep quiet, Snooks. I want to sing that song. Not now. All right, Ted. Thank you, Meredith. Tonight, I want to make clear one point in particular about Maxwell House coffee. And to visualize this point, I have here two cans of Maxwell House coffee. They both look alike, of course, and they both have Maxwell House coffee in them. But you'll notice on one of them a white band at the top with the words Drip Grind printed on it. The other can is marked Regular Grind. Hello. Hello, Snook. What you doing? I'm explaining to the people some facts about Maxwell House coffee. Why? So they'll understand why it's the best. Tonight, I want to tell them the truth about this wonderful coffee. Tonight? Yes. Didn't you tell them that last week? No. You said it was good. Well, I know I did. But it wasn't the truth, huh? <laughs> of course it was. Tonight, I want to tell the people another truth, that's all. Oh. Why? Well, listen, and you'll find out why. Friends, the fact I want to point out is that when you make coffee correctly by the drip method... The water passes through the coffee only once. That's why you need a special grind, a finer grind, so the water can extract all the flavor, the flavor of the coffee quickly. Is there water in it? No, I'm talking about the water you use to make coffee. Can you make coffee from water? Well, of course. And why do you have to buy Maxwell House? Oh, Snooks, please. Well, remember, friends... If you make your coffee by the drip method, use the special drip dry in Maxwell House. It comes ground just right to give you a better cup of coffee by the drip method. On the other hand, you folks who use a percolator or boil your coffee will get a better cup of coffee when you use the regular grind Maxwell House. Used according to your method with Maxwell House, you'll get rich, mellow, satisfying cups of coffee every time. Daddy! What? Is that man finished? Yes, keep quiet. Now, can I sing that song for you? No. Ah! All right, go ahead and sing. I, for the memory of lollipops and gum, my dog's and little drum, I'm sitting in your lap, I'm learning how to do a song, just daddy, I'm snook. Of nice things that you said And stories that you read When you carried me upstairs And you tucked me into bed Just daddy And schnooks I can remember each Christmas When Johnny Claus came down the stairs <laughs> I knew it was you and those with but, Daddy, dear, I didn't care. Oh, thanks, Daddy, for memory. And then when I is grown up and I the lady fair, before I go to sleep at night, I'll say a little prayer. But, Daddy, and Mommy, I'm stuck. Oh, uh, <coughs> Meredith, uh, did you make that arrangement yourself? That I did, Frank. Well, no matter what anybody tells you, keep on making those arrangements the way you like them. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen... Go uh, away, Frank. I what? told you before that I'm handling the announcement. Meredith, now, don't say that. When you're talking to me, you're talking to the greatest announcer at large. But you haven't I've... had any experience. Well, I don't need it. I've been listening to the radio for years. Pretty bad, too, isn't it? <laughs> I say, Wilson, last week I heard the tail end of a program called Good News of 1938. And I want to tell you that Frank. that was the... Frank, what? it's me. That's our program. Oh, well, what do I... It's our program? Oh, that was great, wasn't it? Well, it I... will be if you'll go away and let me handle the announcement. Uh, but, Meredith, I'm so good, I can pick up speeches on the spur of the moment. Go on. You'd be helpless without a script. Oh, Meredith, you don't know the real Morgan. No. I can talk for five minutes on any subject in the world. Why? What? Stuff and nonsense. You yes. couldn't even pass the test they give the junior announcers. They make them talk for one minute without a script. 
Well, give me any subject now. Okay, With okay, your... okay. Yeah. Imagine you're announcing a race program at Santa Anita. Oh, Meredith, you're playing right into my hands. That race stuff is my dish. <laughs> All those technicalities, the paddock, why? Take I've... it away, Morgan. Uh, we're on the air for a minute. Uh, I'm a... Yeah, well, right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Frank Morgan ad living to you from Santa Anita Park. It's located in Santa Anita, California, right near the Santa Anita race track. Santa Anita. Uh... <laughs> It's, uh, it's, uh, there's, uh, the whole place, the place is full of people. <laughs> and, uh, there are, and horses. Uh, yes, sir. I wish you could all be with us here at Santa Anita today. Uh, the track is, uh, there it is. It's, uh, round. Uh, the people are all dressed. They're, they, they've got the most, it's, they're in clothes. And, uh, by the way, I never saw so many people. <laughs> it's a great crowd here today. It's a great crowd. Yes, sir, it's a great crowd. Uh, how's the time, Meredith? Oh, 30 seconds to go. Oh, 30 seconds. Well, here we are still at Santa Anita, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, two more people just came in. Oh, and there's two more. They're coming in by twos and threes now. <laughs> yes, sir. The track, uh, there it is. It's right in front of us. And uh, behind us, there, they, they, you've got, there's a lot of uh, cars parked. There's an awful lot of, uh, plenty of, uh, there's cars. You should, yes, sir. There's, a few taxis, too. There's a lot of celebrities here. If I can get one of them to come up with the mic, I will, but I don't see any just now. There's a lot of people, though. They're, oh, they're certainly... Yes, sir. I am, uh, Frank. Oh, well, there you are, Meredith. I hope that convinces you. I'm <laughs> convinced. We'll let the announcer announce. In the MGM concert hall tonight, Meredith Wilson continues his new series of music pieces with the most beloved March melody ever written. Did you happen to guess its name? It was composed, of course, by John Philip Sousa, the March King, with whose famous band Meredith was once a featured soloist. He presents now The Stars and Stripes Forever. (laughs) ¶¶ 